Good afternoon guys, welcome back to my channel, Rate My Nature Quest. And today, I'm showing you the wildlife of Britain and Ireland. So we'll obviously we'll start off with an otter. You can see over 1,400 species included photographed, photographic detail. Look at that. Indeed, is everything all sorts. Wildlife of Britain. All the different species, plants, animals, mammals, birds, fish, reptiles, snakes, you name it, in Britain. Seals, dolphins. All the different habitats, inhabitants of this planet, beautiful. The Irish Sea, the island, Britain, all the continents, all the parts, the animals exist, the geolog geological, yeah. geology of British, of the British Isles, Scotland, you name it. This is where all the habitats and the animals live. Got your pond life here, your newts, your frogs, the birds, crabs, everything you name it. All the information is inside this book. This is the, one of the world's best books in the world of Britain, of the British Isles, anyway. And it tells you all the old facts and information, all the animals, even all the foreign ones that come from all around the world that are native to this country right now. It's fascinating that, isn't it? We've got the adder there that comes out from the spring till the summer and then autumn it goes and hibernates. And the grass snake as well. So, Let's skip a few chapters. This is all your bird life. Got you. 
extral hovering view. Yeah. You different kinds of birds. Body shaped as well. Got your pigeons. Hawks, you name it. Swans, geese, and the foreign ones that have been in, introduced to this country. Like this guy right here, originally from Canada, now lives in the UK. All the different kind of birds. Insects as well. We've got the cricket. Spiders, ladybirds as well. This is how they form the ladybird. All start with an egg and slowly they hatch. Then molts, yeah. And they turn to lava puppets of the cocoon, and then from the cocoon hatches a beautiful ladybird to the fully grown adult. Isn't that fascinating? I bet you guys didn't know that. I did. But that's how life starts out. Tiny, and it grows and grows and grows. So all really different plants. Sorry. Allow me to... all about you British fish. Look at that. Yeah. Anatomy of the fish life and different kinds of tails. Tells you you look narrow, long narrow. Oh, did you? Slightly bigger than well, bigger than the common rabbit, wild rabbit. These are found in widespread Britain, all over. Speed of above seventy-five kilometers per hour, guys. So all that and grasslands, forests, you name it. Mountains as well. They live in mountains as well. Well, obviously, this is where you find them most of the time. Mountains, yeah. Squirrels, well, we find them everywhere. Waterfall. It's a rodent. An aquatic rodent. Obviously, their habitat is fur colour. Water. So this is a more aquatic one for aquatic life. Red fox squirrels. Red foxes. Mink weasels. And the western pole cat. Ferret sort of thing, yep. Yeah. The kind of ferrets you can see, look. Yes, that's what they used to be. Uh, ferrets, they're a family. Uh, yeah, this is the wild British cat, if nobody even knew that. The wild cat, Felix. There you go, there's his name. Felix Silvestris. Yeah. Part of the cat family as well. The only one we got that lives in the well in Britain, but obviously it's found in Scotland. But it is you can get the common seal and the grey seal as well.
they are harmless, but they can get probably a bit dangerous when they've got babies. So we'll be careful. Now, most of you, if you didn't know, obviously, that these, this is their natural colour, obviously. And, you know, and there's obviously one, two, three, four, five different kinds. Five different kinds of deer. Obviously, you've got the Chinese water deer without any antlers. This one, the Man Monte Monjack, obviously, he's got his antlers at the back. Yep. Well, yeah, they have. And then you've got obviously the elk, the seeker, and the red deer, and the roe deer as well. So, yeah, the largest is the elk, obviously. Yeah, we get that. Now, obviously, in the winter, they regrow their horns, so I bet you guys didn't know that. And their colour changes from their natural tan brownish to, obviously, grey, because, obviously, it's cold in the winter. So, yeah, like all animals like us as well, we get a tan in the summer, in the winter, we lose it.